shortly before noon, um, the situation on Warner Court, the 800 uh, Warner Clerk, uh, 800 Warner Court, was resolved uh, peacefully. Uh, there was no injuries to our victim. We do have our victim safely out, um, and we're reuniting him with his family. And then um, our suspect is in custody with no injuries to our suspect. What was the ultimate thing that got it resolved? Did you? That I do not know at this time on some of the details on why the resolution was there. I, did, I mean, I really just got that information right before I walked gotcha. over here. Um, right now, we are not going to be releasing any other information on um, our victim's name or our suspect's name until we get some things put together. We will be working with uh, the district attorney's office as far as charging type documents um, through today and tomorrow. But as soon as we get some information for a formal press release, we'll have that out as soon as we can. How about a motivation? Uh, right now, I'm not going to be able to disclose that. Is there any way you can release uh, which office it was in? Um, I don't know the name of the office that it was, um, but it was an office in uh, 800 Warner Court. Um, we're still keeping people out of the building until we get some things taken care of as far as uh, um, scene um, work. Um, as soon as we get that done, we'll be letting people back into the building. What kind of weapon do you have? Uh, right now, I don't have that in my... Um, it was not given to me as what it was. He did have a weapon. He did have a weapon. Uh, no injuries? No injuries. Everybody's safe. Is, our victim is safe and being reunited with the family. Is that was our main thing. To be like evaluated at a hospital or anything, do you know? Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I really, I just uh, just got the information that we had resolved it. Um, I just know that everybody was safe. Was, everybody was unharmed. Um, we were able to come to a very good, peaceful resolution. This is what you always want to have come out of these things. This is, uh, you know. Uh, this is what we want. You know, we don't want it to go down any worse than what it, it could possibly go. These can go many, many ways, but whenever we get a resolve like this, with a lot of teamwork and partnerships with a lot of our community, we do well. How many officers were on the scene? Uh, that I don't have a count, but I can tell you there was a sizable amount. Did say if they were escorted out? Um, uh, they, it, for everything that happened, it was negotiation. It was basically what worked for us. Um, so you said you won't be releasing a motive, but do you have a motive? Um, there'll be information released on the, the whole call whenever we do get it. No, I but I mean, like, do police have to know this? Like, I have a feeling whenever there are interviews with our victim and everything else, we'll probably be getting that. Okay. So working on getting it. Yeah. Will, will you be in the initials today? Um, I don't believe so. What kind of charges could he face? I realize the DA will have um, Well, anytime you do, anytime you take somebody against their will, you'll be looking at kidnapping charges, you'll be looking at something, you know, assault charges, um, we're going to be looking at those. They're all going to be on felony level type things. Taking somebody's freedom is not a good thing. So we'll be looking at those, and we'll be working with the district attorney's office on making sure that we have the charging documents up as soon nobody, as we can. You said nobody was injured, but at any point did he attempt to injure somebody or threaten to injure somebody? I don't know the particulars of what was happening as far as what was in it because I'm not in, right up there with uh, dealing with the hostage negotiators and the, and the SRT that were up close. Um, but... You know, any time you're getting a hostage and negotiate, uh, even if you got to have a hostage situation, you are dealing with somebody that's making threats probably towards bodily injury. And what they have or anything else, just in that itself can make it. And that's not right. How soon can people expect this area to be cleared of any room? You'll see the immediate area being opened up right away. Um, so everybody can go back to normal business. Um, it'll probably be a little bit before we get the 800 building or 800 Warner Court open back up but right now everything else is going to be open back up as for people who work in that office when will they be able to get their cars back um, I imagine they'll probably be doing that probably pretty quick we're going to make we're going to try to get the we appreciate the cooperation that we get from, and we know it's a you know, it's a very big inconvenience for people to be involved and being around this, but we do really appreciate the people having some patience with us while we work through this, and we will try to make it so we can get into, they can get their vehicles and everything else as soon as we can. If you had to guess, how many people do you think occupy that building? Do um, I do not know. I do not have that. How, I mean, I've never seen the building, and so, I mean. It's, you know, I think it's there's three or four floors, so you can imagine, you know, there's quite a few offices in a building like that. Um, how many people are in each office? That's, I don't I don't know that. But, you know, it, have, it started early, so I, I was, you always hope that, you know, there, there's not everybody's gotten to work yet, but there were still some people in the building that we still got out. So Where would the safe. suspect be taken? Uh, right now, everything's going to be uh, dealing with uh, the Casper Police Department. Um, or the Natrona County Detention Center, probably, for that. We're going to try and find out what's going on first and then put things together from there. Does it look like the man is sane? Um, I don't have that indication. Uh, I won't be able to make that determination until interviews. Mid-30s.
suspect. For our suspect. What about an age for them to come? I do not know. Do you know if they knew each other? Uh, they don't know that either. That's all stuff that we'll be determining here in the next few hours, and we'll try to get as much information as we can to you at that time. Okay, so could we expect maybe a press release later? You will be getting a press release later awesome. today. So I'll try and get that Great. as soon as we can. But as I say, we're going to work through some stuff and make sure we got our uh, everything in order to make sure we do the right thing um, as far as getting our case put together because, uh, to take care of the victim.